Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and Ian, and Ian is not feeling so well. It is sad. Yeah, I'm not really doing well. It is sad. Alright, so I'll let you pick the first one. What do we got? We got sliders, the stamps, I check, connect three, torn up let's image. Try, let's, let's go with torn up Im image. Ah, you like that one, don't you? Yeah. We get it, puzzle. Alright, so let's solve another one. Okay, so I'm assuming that's our okay. There's our bottom corner. Okay, so let's. I'm finding like the entire bottom before I find anything else. Please. Ah. Phone enough, please. Yeah, sorry guys. If I'm not saying a whole lot, I'm just. Just the weather. He's 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 a bit under right now. Yeah, and it sucks honestly. It does. It, but it happens, you know. And then we get better, and then we're perfectly fine, and then we start blowing shit up again. Eh? It's life. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, that'll come back. <laughs> Eventually. And we now have an entire picture. Hey. Well. It's incomplete still, but it's a picture. Better than nothing, I guess. Indeed. And I'm seeing the pattern. Oh, looks like we got ourselves another yin yang. Chapao. That's I actually sure like it. I do like that one. Indeed. It's like they kind of zoomed out this time. Yeah. And then it took me almost a minute and a half. Wow, that, that wasn't so bad. Okay, Indeed. I pick. Let's do matchsticks. Because we all know how much I love this. Okay, drag matches us to form four triangles. I can move at least three. And I see I didn't get another orb for this round, so. Hmm. Let's see. The only thing I can kind of see, like, like doing this one, is kind of like a Triforce-looking thing, but that's that's what I was that was actually what I was thinking. Like, you probably have to do something like that. Actually, yeah, that's all it is. Uh, no. Ah. Huh? Phone. Enough, please. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right, hey, we were right, we got on the right track on that one. Uh, yeah, I'm allowing myself to imagine marmalade again. You would. All right, let's uh, pick the next one. We got sliders, stamps, I check, connect three shapes, runes, and the garden. Let's go with the garden, I guess. The garden. Okay, I see we have a bucket. I see we have a thing of page journals. Oh, there's our page. It's stuck under a rock. <laughs> nice. My t gnome holding a shovel. What is this? Oh. Piece of gum. Okay. What is this? Chain is tied pretty tight. Are these wire... I think these are bolt cutters, because these don't look like hedge trimmers. Apparently I'm right. Uh, yeah. Oh, bolt cutters and hedge clippers kind of look very similar, I think. Yeah. What is this? Oh, I gotta fill up the bucket. A bucket with a hole in it. Let's use innovation at its finest and just seal up the hole with some gum. Why the well, I guess fuck it's not? I guess it's better than what they usually, what people back then used to do to seal up their holes, their buck, their holes in their buckets, which was rocks. This is true. This is true. 
which I su- I guess it was like, well actually it's more of like rocks it, rock and sand but that actually yeah. is, and it somehow worked afterwards. Okay, Not sure so how, but sure I got seeds, sense. a bucket full of water, and a shovel. Well, I gotta move the rock. Gotta do. Well, I don't want to like do anything. To- oh, I dug a hole. Yeah, you put this. Let's put the seeds in, I guess. So I have magical yes. book grows magical yes. plant to get magical page. Okay. <laughs> it's a I don't think I ever episode. got a chance to tell you that like silly adventure game logic thing I mentioned. No, you didn't. You were mentioning that last night. Okay, so it was called uh whatever. I can't remember. How how what would you normally think in order to get uh what what would you normally get? Okay, so let's say you were needing to get a locked gate open. What would you need? What would you think you need to do to get a locked gate? Yeah, and I was like, it was like a lock gate is just like it's sealed shut, and you have no real key to open it, so to say. Hmm. What I would do is, well, depending on how sturdy this thing happen, this gate happens to be, uh, kick it down. You wouldn't be able to kick it down with yourself. You'd need like something else to, like, destroy the door for you. Then I'd use some acid. You wouldn't have acid on you because, because all right. <laughs> Amnesia so logic. Work? Amnesia logic. Throw a rock at it. Doesn't work. Let me tell you how you would open this door. I do tell. Because this door is in the sewers, so you'd have to climb back up the sewers where there's a vendor in front of you. Guy says he'll give you something if you'll feed his cat. So you need to get a fish for said cat. So you're going to get a knife that you have with you, with a banana and some rope and some glue to like combine all those to make a fishing rod to like fi- go fishing back in the sewer to get this. Fi- to get a fish somehow from that with your like weird okay, time fishing out. rod. Time out. Yes. This fishing rod. What does it consist yes. of again? Let's see, rope, a banana, a knife, and glue. Okay, the only thing that really throws it off for me is the fact that it's a fucking banana. Yeah, and it gives you it gives you fish. So you give the fish to the cat afterwards, and. Oh, and before you even go fishing there, if it's dark, you you see like there's like some ru- like grease on like the handle. But instead of using it using your own hands, you're like, oh, I don't want to use gas. So you know what you do to get rid of said oil off this crank, so you can turn on the lights in the sewers. You use a fish. No, no, you use a teddy. You use a teddy bear you've had on you all this time to use it as an oil rag to wipe the wa- the oil away, so you can turn the lights on. What? what you get- <laughs> yes, and oh, and this is like I said, this is before you start doing the weird fishing pole thing. Go get the fish, and when you finally have said fish, and you give it to the cat, the owner gives you a flamethrower to open this said door. What the fuck? Yes. It, it, what? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Like I said, I've seen some pretty strange logic with adventure games, <laughs> and that's just <laughs> one puzzle. That is one puzzle. Wait, uh, are you fucking kidding me? I wish I was kidding you, but I am not quick, <laughs> sir. Alright, uh, pick thing. the next puzzle, please, before my mind breaks any further. We got sliders, stamps, eye check, shapes, and runes. I say the eye check so you can sh- make sure that fishing pole is real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. a fishing pole, a knife, like a rope, a banana, knife, and glue is apparently enough to make a fishing pole that will get a fish. It's so dumb. Oh, okay, it's looks like, like I got this red. Like I, I, I know adventure, lo- adventure games is supposed to run on like very, like weird logic at times, but that's like the dumbest about, amount of logic specific. I've ever seen in an adventure game, personally. I need to insert a lens into the machine. Okay. When am I gonna get a lens? Hopefully not a machine for pigs. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> See what you did there. I feel terrible. Ah, lost time. Cause usually, oh, the filter. The folder is too heavy to stick to the poster. But you have some tape. Nope, it won't work. Well, Look. that's. Oh, you know, okay. So now it's transparent. What? Okay. Okay. So okay, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Uh. T- what significance does three, four, six have to do with anything? I need a lens. So I can't activate that thing without a lens. And there's some perfectly good lenses right there. 
Yes, I know. I need a lens. Thank you, sir. So kind. Um, I was thinking this machine, but it's, it's, that's a no right there. Ah, oh, there's a lens right there. I'm so blind. Correction. I think you're blinded by the stupidity. Oh, okay. So stupidity the of fishing is... poles, to be more precise. Asshole. Oh, I mean, you did ask, and I just decided to oh. let you know on that. Okay, maybe we should uh, move the text, the lens over the text, and see if we can read it. Okay. Oh, hold on. I see. I see a number here. It's like a nine, a four, a seven, seven and, and a six. six. So nine, four, seven, six. Oh, that's a combination of the bot of these books. Nine, four, seven, six. Ingenious. Indeed. Very Secret so. books. Ingenious. Ingenious indeed. I wish I had the smarts to make something like that. But, I don't. Okay, so, let's see. Sliders, stamps, shapes, runes. Let's go to stamps, because I love matching things. So much matching. I love how I started this Let's Play going chronological, and now I'm just saying, fuck it. Fuck okay. it. Well, it makes it more interesting that way. Personally. Don't you agree? It does. <coughs> uh, we, got, we got some horses. Some fish. We got a lion. Oh, is we got a turtle. We got some more horses. We got uh, France. We got more France. We got a. Uh, we see. We have it. We have Egypt. In Glasgow. Oh, Okay, admittedly, the, Gla the stand for Galapagos is actually pretty clever that it's Galapagos tor tortoise. Dude, Galapagos tortoise, man. Oh. <laughs> what you know about them Galapagos tortoises? Alright, it's uh, sliders, um, shapes, uh, or runes. Um, let's. I, I say we should save the runes for last. Okay, so sliders or shapes? Um, I say slider. Alright. We do one that I actually enjoy because I love doing slider puzzles. I literally have a game on my iPad to where, you know, it's basically all... It's basically just a series of puzzles like this. Oh, yes. I used, to pl I used to play with slider puzzles when I was a little younger, actually. Slider they're puzzles? They're always so interesting shit. to me. Like, they're awesome. Oh, mostly because I was, like, trying to see, like, okay, how many, how many shapes can I make this, possibly? <laughs> okay, so let's do the next one. What you know about that Tetris? Dude, I know all about that Tetris. Oh really? Then why are you going the wrong way? Fuck you, okay? Although, I'm like, there's a block you can move, you're moving the wrong way! What are you doing? Kids, uh, when have I ever known what I'm doing? Like... I think three months ago, you actually had the perfect way that you could just slide one block and you could have moved it freely. There you go, good sir. There you go. I swear, so one, of these, one of these episodes of my Let's Plays, of any of my Let's Plays, where, you know, it's something similar to Tetris, I'm just gonna have that theme playing in the fucking background. Or, or just, you know, cut back to... Cut to footage of actual Tetris being played. Like old school retro Tetris. Yes. Ah, Tingram! <laughs> Tingram. And that's a candle. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a... Candles are amazing. Candles are amazing. It's like they smell delicious. Some of them in which actually do. Or are we talking about two different candles here? True. Possibly, maybe. Who knows? I'm just seeing how this kind of like goes together because usually with Tangram it takes like a moment for you to f for your brain to register an image, but like for this, oh, I can see how the image already played together. Ouch! My knees start to crap. All right, for the runes, the runes, the runes, the runes, the runes, may runes, may runes, they gone. Oh, this again. Cthulhu Fatagan? Cthulhu Fatagan. Cthulhu Fatagan Aishna. Aya Cthulhu? Fuck yeah, dude. Aya Dagon? No. Let's not, let's not bring Dagon, son of a bitch. Let's not bring Dagon into this, please. Thank you. Dagon and Hydra? But they're also in that mythos. 
Good sir. Yeah. Also, I see a pair of runes you can easily do now. Which one? Um, you see the one that looks like yellow trees? Yeah. Yeah? There's like two oh, other oh, like yep, half okay. trees you can use. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing any other sequences with this with this set though. Uh, yeah, I don't see either. You're probably gonna have to mix now. Oh, actually, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. There's, I do see one actually. I see one more. Hmm. And you see them though, good sir, because I am staring at all three. They make like a triangle, like they make a triangle between each other. Come, I'm, I'm trying to see what you're getting at here. I'm trying to like get... one is on like the top left corner. Arrows. Yes. The other two arrows are like making a triangle oh, okay. from where they are. Okay, yeah, okay. I thought it was just like a sequence of like one, two, three. I thought that's what you were trying to get at. I was like, no. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing any sequence of this. No, I don't. I don't either. I love how like my attempt to help you is by being as cryptic as possible. Fuck yeah, dude. You should know about that cryptic bullshit. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything with this one either. I I almost saw one, but then like the other one turned out to be blue oh, instead of red. Oh, I so see it. Like, see what's right there. Boom. Oh, that's a different point I was seeing. Okay. Yeah, because it could technically be. It has to be three different colors or so. Yeah. Oh, there's there one. Boom. Last one. All sequences found. We win. Hurrah! Story continues now. Ooh. Hazada! Ooh, it's those these kind of puzzles. These are fun. You just gotta slide it right into its right position. Oh yeah. <laughs> these are really like one of my favorite kinds of puzzles, actually. See, I can see. You see, I kind of like the look of this puzzle. I mean, ancient. They're like, they're always they're always fun looking. And they are always clever. They're mostly clever for the most part. Yes. Hey, good stuff, we finally got his other leg! <laughs> hey, we got his legs out, yay. I think we've, I guess that means he's half free, I guess? Technically, yes, because if there are ten pieces of this puzzle... Then yeah, he he's half free. Right, I was amazed when I saw the first puzzle, I solved it in a snap. As I went through the first series, I was almost laughing. How can my great-uncle been fooled to think that this was only solved by the greatest puzzle masters. As I turned each page, I soon found out that I was no longer found that I was no longer laughing. I could see that this was a collection of age-old puzzles from around the world. I was up against the great brain teasers of Asia, Africa, Russia. Suddenly, I felt exhausted and tired to close and tried to close the book, but I found that I couldn't. It was stuck open in my hands. It was infuriating. The next thing I did was really unthinkable. What'd you do, Titus? Next magic is a picture of a beautiful lady. Maybe his, like, granddaughter or something? Who knows? What's your pleasure? Also, I'm, I, I seriously am getting, like, a very interesting vibe from, like, how he's, like, trying to mention of this, like, book that's possibly evil and whatnot. Well, we'll have to find out in the next episode, because this is the next chapter. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Azada. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya! Bye!